Hello and welcome to this video. <laughs> um, today we are doing the six foot wicked pumpkin creeper. Um, this one is my newest inflatable. I got him two or three days ago. Um, <laughs> it's actually very, very cool. Uh, it does not really look six feet, but the horns do make it six feet. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So I'm going to go over the box right now. Then we'll get into opening it, then inflating it, then taking it down. Then putting it back into the box. Then there's the end. So, yeah, let's do this. So... This is the front of the box. It shows the uh, creeper itself. This is the side. Still the creeper. This is the back. The other side. And then back to the front. So that's really the box. And I will see you in the next scene when we open it. Alright. So now when we open it, you will see this little flap about right in the middle of the box. Well, right at the top of the back side. And when you get right here, you either put your fingers beneath it or on top and just pull. Then you lift your box back up and pull on the top flap up. Then these two. Mm. Okay. So, we it would come with instructions and stakes. We will need stakes and tethers. Uh, if you were setting it up inside, you will not need this. And you do not need the instructions unless you really want to read them since they're, it's pretty easy. And there are better instructions on the back. So if you are setting it up outside, you will need the stake and tethers. Uh, because without them, the entire inflatable will just blow away. I'm going to put these to the side since I do not need them. Um, then when you open it, it does have the new style of cord brick. And this is what my box looks like. It will come in a bag when you first buy a new, a new inflatable. But since this one isn't really that new, it did not. I mean, since I already opened it. So let's get this out. So there are three ways you can get it out. You can either pull it up like this, put it upside down and start shaking it, or put it on the side and pull it up. The safest way, I think, is to... Is to put it on its side and pull it out. So now the box is completely empty. And now we do not need the box for now. Uh, now we're stuck with this. The uh, inflatable cube. So when this happens, you just want to unravel it. And now we do not have enough room for this. Um, here's its face. All right, so really, this is this is six feet, so it is taller than me. And if your ceiling is not uh, six feet or higher, you should go outside. Actually, yeah, if it is six feet or lower, you should go outside because when when it is six feet, the horns will uh, scrape against the ceiling and, and it could pop. So you should either go outside or go to a higher room. So I'm going to go to the next scene, uh, which is going to be blowing it up. So now we have the um, inflatable on the ground here. Uh, and, well, my plug, if you have not seen it yet, is right there. Touching it. And that is where I plug in all of my inflatables. So, um, yeah, let's just get to blowing it up. I will show a time lapse of it blowing up, and then after, I, I will also turn off the lights because this inflatable has blue lights instead of just plain white. So, uh, let's do this. I'll see you in the time lapse. Okay, so as you can see, he is right behind me, and 
he is he deserves his six feet he definitely is six feet uh so the lights do look purple on camera but they are actually blue and i am going to get a close-up of his face and i will show um him with the lights off with the lights so that will be in the next scene and i hope you enjoy that pumpkin creeper with the lights off it really looks very cool i i only don't show it the the other inflatables with the lights off because uh they're just white lights and it looks boring but with this one and i also have a color changing ghost i will be doing a lights off too so that's really it with the lights off and i'll see you in the next scene which is putting it away so yeah now he is back on the desk uh and i am going to be putting him back in the box so if you first unplug your inflatable and if you want all the air to come out you want to like gently lean on top of it so that all the air would come out of the fan of the bottom uh and then once you're done with that you get your box again you open it up all the way so that all the flaps are on the sides then you take the bottom of your inflatable and put that part in first and then you keep making your way into the box. You gotta be very gentle with this part, sorry. And make sure the cord goes in last. When you get to the cord, you don't want to put in like this or like this because when the prongs are going down, it could puncture a hole into the inflatable. And you, you don't want to do it like this because it could kink the cord and then stop working. So, you, you want to place it in flat. Then you take your stakes and instructions and, and put them back in. If you are done, if you did put the stakes on the inflatable, I recommend keeping them on so that it you don't have to do it next year. Then you close both of the flaps. Get the little one in front, put the big one in, and close it off. So that is putting it away, and I'll see you in the next scene, which is the outro. So I hope you enjoyed today's video of unboxing, uh, setting up, and putting it back in the box of the Wicked Pumpkin Creeper that is six feet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.